Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. If you are fed up with laptops offering the same thing over and over again, we might have the perfect device in the studio for you today. Not only is the ASUS ROG Zephyrus Duo 16 offering all the latest and greatest in terms of hardware, it is also offering a second touch capable screen and a unique cooling system in a still somewhat portable 16 inch form factor. If all this is really elevating your gaming or work experience, or if it's all just for the sake of being different, we will tell you after the intro. Please don't forget to subscribe while you watch it, it means a lot to us. Alright guys, let me walk you through what is on offer with this thing. Our review unit is the top of the line configuration and comes with AMD's latest flagship mobile CPU, the 8-core 6900HX and a completely unhinged mobile 3080 Ti with a 165 watt power budget and a whopping 16 gigs of VRAM. In addition, this beast of a laptop comes with 64GB of DDR5 RAM and 4TB of NVMe storage. Since the raw capacity is apparently not enough, those 4TB are actually 2x2TB drives in RAID 0 that offer some insane read and write speeds. Despite the very different construction and the moving parts, the Sephiroth feels very solid and surprisingly light considering the specs and the two screens. The chassis is made from metal and there isn't any flex to the base unit. When you open the laptop, the second display is lifted up to provide additional cooling and a better viewing angle. The whole motion is super smooth and there is no wiggle or movement to it. While the lid is made from metal as well, it has a little bit more flex to it than we would like to see. The hinges on the other hand are very firm and there is only minimal wobble once the position is adjusted. Our G's get a port on all three sides of the Sephiroth. You get two USB-A and two USB-C ports and all of them support the fast 3.2 Gen 2 standard. The USB-C on the left supports power delivery and both of them can carry a display port signal. Alongside the USB-A in the back you can find an HDMI 2.1 port and your Ethernet jack. On the left, ROG made room for a micro SD card reader, the second USB-A, an audio combo port and the power connector. Personally, I would have preferred this one in the back as well, but maybe there just wasn't enough room back there between the cooling vents. While I would still prefer a full-size SD card reader, the smaller variant in the Sephiroth performed very well and offered fast read and write speeds from our reference card. In terms of wireless communication, the Duo 16 is no slouch either and can keep up with similar high-end laptops in our testing. When it comes to future proofing and sustainability, you can upgrade or exchange the memory and of course the two NVMe drives. Even though with this configuration I can't really see why you would want to, except for repairs maybe. You can find more information about upgrading and the internals in our written review on our website. Alright, let's talk inputs. While the keyboard might be in an unusual spot being shifted to the front, it's really good. It has a short throw and a clear pressure point and the RGB backlight can be adjusted in three brightness levels. Above the touchpad are additional function buttons for starting ROG's Armory Crate control software, the on off button for the second screen, a mode switch for the arrow keys and finally the power button. Speaking of the touchpad, it's also a bit weird but it's also good. Using a touchpad in portrait mode on a landscape display takes some getting used to, but after a few hours of using it, it's not a problem at all. Alternatively, you can use it as a numpad. While this works great, I personally would have wished for some sort of physical feedback. Okay folks, it's display time and, well, there's a lot to talk about. Let's start with the second screen. It is basically half of a 4K screen with a resolution of 4840 by 1100 at 60Hz. It's a touch screen and also supports an active stylus, which is absolutely amazing for creative apps like Photoshop for example. The touch screen works very well for starting apps via the start menu and ASUS also includes a handy software to fine tune the second screen for your workflow. 
There are also some custom input profiles for creative cloud apps like Photoshop or Lightroom that give you shortcuts for often used functions and tools. They worked very well during my testing and really showed the potential of having a second screen in a laptop. Apart from that, you can of course move all of your windows to the second screen, for example a YouTube video while you play games or a website for referencing while you type a script. Speaking of gaming, Dying Light 2 for example has baked in support for the Screenpad Plus by displaying your inventory or your quest list during gameplay, which also shows the potential if more developers would support it. The 4K main screen supports AMD's FreeSync and refreshes at 120Hz. It delivers solid contrast and gets a lot brighter than most competing devices. Being X-Rite Pentone certified, color reproduction out of the box is already pretty good, but manual calibration delivers Delta E values around 1, which in combination with almost 100% coverage for sRGB and DCI-P3 and 86% for Adobe RGB makes this display even suitable for on-the-go photo editing. Apparently all this screen goodness isn't enough for ASUS, so they added another party trick to this specific display. It's a so-called dual-spec display and with an armory crate you can reboot it with 1080p at 240Hz. So while the 3080 Ti can run games at the native 4K resolution, if you favor higher refresh rates you got the option as well. When it comes to performance I could make it easy for us and just tell you that the Sephiroth is basically a desktop replacement and offers enough horsepower to handle almost anything you can think of. While the Sephiroth line is under the ROG roof and therefore primarily targeted towards gamers, this thing is a content creator's dream. It simply doesn't matter if you play games, edit photos, work on videos or even take advantage of the 3080 Ti's generous amount of VRAM and do some CGI work. ASUS opted for AMD's latest 6900HX as the brain for the Sephiroth and it delivers solid numbers in the CPU department. It can't quite keep up with high powered other lake laptops like the Gigabyte Aero 16 with its i9. But it can easily beat laptops with conservative power levels like the i7 12800H equipped Razer Plate that we recently tested. Another performance highlight are the two NVMe drives in their RAID 0 configuration. If your applications can take advantage of it, they offer around 10 GB per second read and write and ensure a very snappy user experience in general. The 3080 Ti in the Sephiroth is styled up to 11 as well. Not only does it offer more VRAM than its desktop counterpart with a total of 16 gigabytes, but ASUS also lets it chuck down a whopping 140 watts of juice. If this isn't enough for you, you can further increase the available power budget by another 25 watts manually in the Armory Crate software. This lets the two screen laptop sit very comfortably amongst the top spots in our GPU performance database. In terms of FPS, this means the Sephiroth can easily run games in up to 4K resolution. In QHD, you can take advantage of the native 120Hz refresh rate. And in most titles, 4K at above 60FPS isn't a problem either. As I mentioned earlier, the raised screen isn't only for the improved viewing angles, but also to provide additional cooling for the components. This translates to noise levels. In light workloads the fans operate at a barely audible level or even remain off completely on some occasions. Under full load the Sephiroth gets loud as almost every other powerful gaming laptop but that is to be expected. The silent mode offers a viable alternative when you want a quieter machine and can sacrifice some computing muscle or if a couple of frames don't really matter. While the Ryzen CPU and the Sephiroth might not be able to take the performance crown from Intel equipped laptops. In terms of efficiency and therefore battery life, it eats the competition for breakfast. Almost 8 hours in our standard web surfing test is unmatched for a machine this powerful and easily turn this thing into a great productivity machine array from power outlets. That said, don't expect to use the Zephyrus for more than an hour while you use the 3080 Ti, because well, physics. Alright guys, let's wrap this up. With the Sephiroth Duo 16, ASUS truly created a laptop that is both unique and highly functional. The second screen isn't just a gimmick for marketing purposes, but it is very well integrated with very profound software support. There is absolutely nothing left on the table when it comes to performance. 
Thanks to the powerful and efficient Ryzen CPU and the insane RTX 3080 Ti. 64GB of RAM and generous 4TB of storage further underline the high-end nature of the 16-inch ROG laptop, making it an obvious choice for gamers, video and photo editors, streamers or 3D artists. The main screen is also bridging the gap between gamers and content creators alike, with a fast 120Hz at 4K or an even faster 240Hz at 1080p and amazing color reproduction. With around 4,500 euros or 4,000 dollars, the Sephiroth might seem pricey. And it really is, don't get me wrong. But if you factor in what is on offer and how much other companies charge for RAM and storage upgrades, I personally don't think ASUS is completely unrealistic here. Especially given the added benefit of the second display. But please let us know what you think in the comments below. Is the unique form factor, the second display and the insane amount of RAM and storage enough for you to justify the price tag? Anyways, this would be it for today. As always, don't forget to check out the written review by my colleague Sasha. And big thanks to ASUS Germany for providing our review unit. Please don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. I'm Alex, you watched the Notebook Check laptop review and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.